Okay, hello again YouTube. Brought to my attention that I didn't tell you what the problem was when this thing come in. What was happening was whenever you push the the valve to dump the suspension, it would dump it, but it would never return to, to ride height to go down the road. It would not travel. So that was how we figured out the plumbing was wrong. So I'm gonna kind of show you what we did. It looks a lot cleaner now than what it did. I'm gonna kind of tell you where these lines go. We also ran blue. Blue is always your, your air in. This whole trailer was done in red. So naturally, this blue line goes to a pressure protection valve. And then we traveled it through. Basically the bottom is the air to feed both the valves. Okay, which I'll get to that in a second. Both of your centers, both of your centers again, that is where you that one and your center one here. This one. Those are whenever you push the button in on the tractor, you supply air. That's what pops the valves out in case the customer does not pull them out. They hit they set their or they release their air, pops those buttons out, resets the valves, that's the trailer go up, and it also sets the, the slider pins out. Okay. So what we've done is this line here. This is a two-way check valve here. This line here is going back to the SR5 valve, emergency relay valve. So you got your air coming through into your check valve. Your check valve, your bolt is on the bottom. So your air is coming in here. And of course it goes down and feeds your, feeds your valves here on the side. This one here is for your your slider pins obviously that line goes up and into the the slider pins right there that's, in, that's, in, that's your airbag for your slider <clears throat> this one here we ran it up back around through the channel back out we changed the t right here because the t that was here it just stuck way out this way so we changed that t right there so we put that T there, and we took the T that was in there, and we put it here. That was the T that was in there. So we took it out and put it there. So your top line on your dump valve runs up and around through here, back out here, and goes to the front of your pilot valve. From the T, it goes to the other side of your two-way check valve. This line here, this runs clear back to the airbag that controls the dock lock. If it doesn't go anywhere else, just goes straight to the airbag on the dock lock. This line here, this line comes around to here and it feeds the airbag. The Lebanon valve had a T right here. We took that T out and just put a 90 in because it's going straight to the pressure protection valve down there. Go straight to the side of the air tank pressure protection valve. This line here we ran it in blue just to identify with all the red lines that are right there. That blue line we ran it back to here. So this is air out of your leveling valve. That's going to air up your airbags. So from your leveling valve, it goes through the pilot valve, goes down to your airbag. This one here is your exhaust. When the button's pulled, it'll exhaust the air. When the button's pushed in, it'll apply the air. If both the buttons are pushed in, so you got your pin release and you got your, your suspension dump. As soon as you apply air to it, It'll pop them buttons back out. The trailer will return to ride height. The dock lock will kick out of the way. The trailer's good to go down the road. But this is pretty much the finish, the finish deal. I'll run it down one more time. This pressure protection valve feeds both of the bottoms. The centers are both emergency air. 
This line here will run straight up to the front glad hand, down the stinger to the glad hand. Slider goes right there. This one here goes through the pin valve, the pin bags. And again, this one here is the one that runs up and back over right here to this T. And then from the T into the check valve. Okay.